Likewise, my massacres. We are back for another video on Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. So yeah, another small banner is out. Like I told you by my previous video, the Caleb is gonna be out here for today. And yeah, it's nothing much going on. So yeah. Yep, there she is, a side banner called herself Miguel, the, in a new looking outfit, I guess. So yeah, like I said, you don't need to spend all your champs on her. She might appear again, probably in later banners or so. So yeah, but she's now going, she's now out right about now. But yeah, this is another wife who look like Bay here. So yeah, I'm not so sure, like I said by my previous video, I'm not so sure she got to be useful in other events like the PvE or might as well in PvP, not likely though, but I'm pretty sure she is useful in demonic beast battles, so yeah. Alright, enough said, let's check out her skills. Okay, her skill is called Family Valkyrie. Wait, what? <laughs> My apologies. Alright, the skill is called Falling Valkyrie. So yeah, and that's basically what it does. Depletes ultimate move. And on rank 3, it depletes 3 ultimate move gauge. Orbs. So yeah. It's pretty much same skills as um yeah like yeah like Zelda or any other banners though any other characters that have that move all right above uh, skill is called Hikuikas. Requiescat. Requiescat. I don't know how to pronounce that word though, but yeah, my apologies if I pronounce it wrong like that. Okay, on rank 1, it only removes debuffs. But on rank 2, it adds sol solidify. Hmm, that's interesting. Solidify. Effect on all allies, but if they are deep buffs, they are removed and add additional solidify, meaning adding a plus thirty percent resistance for three turns, and it can be stacked. Okay, and it's on rank three. It it removed and add a solidify for every debuff that it is removed so yeah Her ultimate move is pretty much the same as any other as the older lucky like other alright this is level 1 blundering blow and adding a power strike so yeah ok her passive says increase allies hp stats by 6% and up to 30% and fills one ultimate move gauge orb every time the hero uses a skill in demonic beast battle events so yeah she has to be useful yeah allies who had debuffs removed from the hero skills use recovery 20% of the max HP so yeah that passive kicks in once she using the buff skill <laughs> alright let's check how she does Okay, let's see what you got, Magelda. Oh, 
That's that. I let's see what it is here. Oh, see, that's that puff. I can see it's, it's pretty much similar to what Hawk and Elizabeth has, though. So, yeah. Mm, she is one clumsy Valkyrie, I, I can tell. Yeah, that is pretty much it for today. How she is. Uh, yeah. Wait for a couple of more gems or so, yeah. And spend it for something else or something big, like a festive banner or collab banner. So yeah, she ain't worth wasting gems though, unless you're into waifus. So yeah. Alright, Connor's gang, as you can see, these are the potential banners that are out alongside with the new Red Magelda. So yeah. There is some banners here and then. And yeah. You know what, they're just nothing but small banners. Sigurd is good, Arthur's good. I don't know about the others. Yeah, some banners are alright. The rest is just trash, that's all. Yeah, Mael is still here. So yeah, for those who still in search of collecting some gems here and then yeah you still got time i already done my part and summoned all my gems on him so yeah Well, uh, as you can see here, I'm here by the heroes, as usual. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but, um, these drawings are back. Yeah, these April Fool's drawings were here before. <laughs> Those shady looking characters. But first things it was just... Okay, let me show you. Um, they were first introduced by Mary Otis, Goddess Liz, and um, the one Eskono was firstly introduced by their artwork. Yes, his was like that. Yes, and Goddess Liz is, well, you know what, I think I should fix this one. There you go. Alright, now it's available. And this is what her artwork looks like. This one looks a bit better compared to the others. I think the artist, him or herself, was more interested in draw female characters more beautiful than the male characters like Meliodas in. Bond, for instance. Yeah, the first three was Lost Family Otis. Uh, yeah, Goddess Liz, and then it was the one Eskanor. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> Pretty weird looking. <laughs> More like a, a, a child's art, work of art, but yeah. It, some of the drawings is not really accurate, is it? supposed to be yeah but now that they are new characters here like lost fame no not lost fame um my apologies um purgatory band and then three to many others which they are showing right here 
Yep. He is Purgatory Buns. Yeah. Weird looking mouth. Weird looking smile here. And there is something wrong with his right hand. Just and this. Yeah, his pinky look more like a thumb than the E. In the east, yeah, in the thumb looks more like, uh, yeah, like a pinky as it is, man. Yeah, I guess it's the other way around. I think it was meant to be like this. And this is artwork of Traitor Meliodas. He really does have small demon wings behind his back. He doesn't even have a nose. He looks pretty much like Krillin. <laughs> Krillin's his face right here. Yeah, and of course, we have this new fairy king right here. Uh, it looks like this one is sticking its tongue out for some reason. And his right hand looks more like a oven glove or so <laughs> but yeah it doesn't look that bad at all oh yeah um gotha fist of gotha yeah this artwork is pretty much badass not gonna lie it's pretty dope though compared to the others i'm pretty surprised though I think they even, I think they pay more attention to the artwork of Gotham and, and of course female characters like Goddess Liz. Yeah, I, I forgot about this fairy king as well. And this is what he looks like, him whining <laughs> alongside with his Big Bear. Oh, and who would have forget? Deanna herself as well. <laughs> yes, and this is what it looked like. It looks kind of neat. Hmm, interesting. They're adding a pencil and a razor right next to it for some reason. And yeah, these toys look good. It looks really good. Not that bad or no, not that good. It, it looks kind of all right. And yeah, we have brand new ones over here, especially um, Goddess Elizabeth, which kind of odd. Though. Look like a eight bit move over here. Which I can't show, but. If I have to use my, yeah, one of these stuff, they can allow me to, yeah, I'm talking. And there you have it. it reach by, yeah, reach by level one. And once you did, they will show you this artwork. And that's definitely an 8 bit move. <laughs> uh, she looks so cute. But uh, yeah, this is Goddess Elizabeth and her artwork. Imagine if they make a, a, a 7 editions 8 bit style game like this. That would be quite interesting, though, not gonna lie. Okay, we got one for Lolly Merlin as well. So yeah, I have to. Put this on her as well. And yeah, this is how she looks like. Yeah. Hmm, this one is interesting. This one has um a couple of guys here like her captain. Yeah. Captain Meliodas and her sidekick Escono and yeah, Cross or so. He got for Hawk as well and for 
Yeah, for Arthur as well. Yes, about that. Not only on this Escanor, but also, if you guess it, this Escanor himself. Ultimate Escanor. It's moving by this move as well. Alright, they see his artwork. Yeah, his artwork looks pretty much like this. And I bet you guys have saw this artwork before. He's one of those um artworks you saw on one of these um artificial gods. Yes, it's that type of artwork. Uh, it's too bad I don't have a Purgatory Meliota, so yeah, I too should have shown you. He's still inside though, so yeah. Yeah, um, yeah this goddess list right here. And of course this drawing, which is quite interesting there. Now this looks kind of cool. Above all the drawings, this one is the best for me. This animated looking drawing. This is kind of dope. If the animators make it even more detailed as it is, but yeah. It would be the most considered a very good anime. But yeah, above all else, this one is number one for me. Mm, I'm still continue scrolling guys for yeah upcoming upcoming banners with the drawings there of their own as well. So yeah. Okay, let me try do a, a event also. Maybe it would show. I can again. I have to try and go in on any event. As I just at this. Okay, so already can tell there are logos here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, as you guys can see, there is um. Purgatory Meliodas and his drawing logo, which is kind of dope though. It almost looks like some sort of uh, <laughs> Super Saiyan form. <laughs> Something like that, but yeah. It's just too bad that I don't have him at the moment right now. But yeah, that is him. Nani? Oh snap, they got for um... They got a drawing for my hell as well? I didn't know. Alright. My hell. Let's see what your drawing looks like. And there it is. His drawing. It is quite interesting though, not gonna lie. Yeah, it looks kind of nice. Him holding a full on sun on his hands. Oh, that's him. Oh, I completely forgot. It's the Rosa. Okay, the, um, here is Isterosa in his move. So yeah, it looks pretty much similar. It's pretty much less detailed than the other one. I mean, than the original, so yeah. It's pretty much that. Oh my goodness, gang, I just received a couple of these rewards straight from the final boss battle. And yes, that includes not only the gems, but also this box and definitely the, the full costume for Gloxinia. Alright, let's go receive them all. And that's the lot. So yeah, there is nothing much here going on except a Ragnarok banner is out. And yes, so yeah. So yeah, that is about it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and of course, share the video around and comment if I have to make more contents like this in the future.
This is your boy signing off. Until then, solid vibes. Until next time. Salud, y'all. Subscribe, go to hell, go to hell.